As advanced as online shopping has become, the one downside to buying online versus in-store is the inability to interact with products before purchasing. So while there's currently no way to replace the experience of holding a physical product in your hand, for many online shoppers, video comes as close as possible to recreating that in-person experience. In fact, about 96% of consumers said they find videos to be helpful when making purchases online. That's why having product videos on your Amazon listing is extremely important. Stick around and we'll give you some practical advice on how to film and upload your own product videos. First and foremost, in order to upload product videos to your listing, you must be a brand registered seller. If you're not currently enrolled in Brand Registry, go ahead and check out our recent video in the cards on how to become brand registered, then come right back and watch the rest of this video. If you are brand registered, you now have access to upload videos to the main images section of your product listing. However, there's a few other areas that Amazon allows you to place your videos. If you've built an Amazon storefront for your brand, you can upload videos here as well. Storefronts do a great job at not just highlighting the products you sell, but showing potential customers what makes your brand special. Video is the perfect medium to tell that story. So if you haven't already created a storefront for your brand, I highly recommend watching our recent video on how to build an Amazon storefront, which we'll link for you up in the cards here as well. One more area that brand registered sellers can utilize videos on Amazon is with sponsor brand video ads. These ads are extremely valuable. They take up a ton of real estate on the search results page. And in my opinion, they're currently underpriced since very few sellers are even using them. Jungle Scout's recent Amazon advertising report found that only 7% of third-party sellers on Amazon are using sponsor brand video ads. This means competitions for these placements are low, and as a result, cost per click prices are also low. So if you're interested in learning more about sponsored brand video ads, we'll link some content for you up in the cards here. Okay, great. You know how important it is to have product videos on your listing, but now the question is, how do I actually make these types of videos? Luckily, you don't need to be a seasoned filmmaker to produce your own videos. You can simply use your smartphone's camera and some cheap lighting you already have at home. But before you go and just hit record, it's important to understand which type of video is going to be best for your particular product. While there's a ton of options out there, the main types of videos that are used most often on Amazon are product highlight videos, lifestyle videos, unboxing and explainer videos, and comparison videos. However, keep in mind that you can mix and match each of these different types of videos together, but generally speaking, the video you choose to make will fall within one of these video types. Which video is right for you depends on your particular product. Some items like clothing or jewelry benefit enormously just from being shown from every angle. For other products, it's important to help the viewer understand the key features and how your product differs from the competition. We'll now quickly go over the benefits and give you tips on how you should approach filming each of these different types of videos. The first main type of video that you can create is a product highlight video. These videos main function is to call out the most useful features of your product in a concise and informative way. Typically, you'll see these types of videos using animated graphics to point out the physical features on the product itself. This can be as simple as a 360 degree view of the product on a white background, or it might be a more complex video with close-ups and shots of the product in use. Making a product highlight video can sometimes be easier and more affordable than the other types of videos. Having video footage of your product is always great, but you can even use pictures that you already have on your listing and just add animated text calling out your product's features. Websites such as Animoto.com are great at doing just this. So if your product has a ton of valuable features that customers are looking for, then calling those out in a product highlight video might be best for you. The second main type of video is a lifestyle video. The goal here is to showcase more than just the product features. This type of video is designed to show the product in use by its target audience, helping shoppers understand what the product can do for them and how it will make them feel. The key here is to understand who your target audience is and knowing what they are looking for so that you can help them envision how your product can improve their life. Humans love social proof, so showing people using your product creates a connection where the potential customer thinks to themselves, hey, that could be me. By helping them picture themselves with your product and enjoying the perks of its features, you're essentially using their imagination as a selling tool. The third main type of video is an unboxing or explainer video. 
These types of videos are best for products that rely heavily on the overall appearance or feel of a particular product, such as clothing or even a bed mattress. Oftentimes, these videos start from the moment the product is opened out of its packaging, helping shoppers see everything that comes with it. This is especially great if your product has a ton of parts or pieces, and usually this type of video is accompanied by an explainer segment, showcasing how your product works. If your product isn't self-explanatory and a little more complicated to understand, you probably want to use an unboxing and explainer video. Now, the fourth main type of video is a comparison video. This type of video shows the product in comparison to competing products or in comparison to the outcome if a customer did not have your product in their life. This can work well when there are many similar products being sold, especially if your product solves certain customer pain points that the competition doesn't. However, be careful if you mention your competitors by name because Amazon has strict policies against doing that. Just make sure your comparisons are factual, objective, and non-defamatory in any way. But you don't just have to talk about your competitors by name. You can, for example, explain that other products have functionality defects and show how your product provides a fix to those common issues. So when creating a product video for your listing, you have two main options. Either create the video yourself or contact a video production company that specializes in Amazon product videos, which you can find for free in the Jungle Scout market. Whichever option you choose ultimately depends on your particular budget, time constraints, and video making capabilities. Regardless of whether you do it yourself or not, you still need to be very involved in the planning process in order to assure the highest possible quality of the video. Pre-production and planning are the keys to success in any form of video production. So here are a few helpful tips to keep in mind when planning your product video. Like I mentioned earlier, the beginning of your video is critical. To capture the attention of your audience, within the first few seconds, try to hook your viewers with a strong statement or visuals that make them interested in watching the rest of your video. In terms of video length, keep it concise. Although product videos can be longer, the ideal length on Amazon is less than one minute. Keep in mind, if you want to double down your efforts and use your video and sponsor brand video ads, it must be under 45 seconds. So try not to waste those first few seconds with long introductions, filler, or unnecessary brand information. One tip when writing the script for your video, ask yourself this one very important question. What problem does my product solve? Then with that problem in mind, follow this three-step process that I'm sure you've seen many times before on television commercials, whether you've noticed it or not. Highlight a painful problem your customers are facing, then agitate that problem by showing the underlying pain your customers feel by not having a solution to the problem. Lastly, provide your product as the solution to the problem and show how relieved it makes your customers feel. Outside of product highlight videos, rather than just calling out the main features, remember to keep your focus on the benefits customers receive by using your product. When it comes to sound, your audio quality is actually more important than your video quality. Most people are willing to watch a video that's not shot in 4K, but poor audio quality is usually enough to make anyone hit the back button within a few seconds of watching your video. Because audio matters so much, a good microphone is the first piece of equipment you may want to invest in. Along with high quality sound, lighting makes a huge difference in the quality of your finished video, so make it one of your top priorities during filming. However, you don't need to invest a whole lot in the lighting department, especially if you're choosing to film outside. Natural light from the sun should work just fine, but if you're filming indoors, you will need to be a little more intentional about what types of lights you use and where you place them. Now, in terms of utilizing backgrounds, when in doubt, having a solid or white background is always a great idea. The simpler the background, the better. Just make sure your product or subject is several feet away from the backdrop to avoid casting shadows on it. Another great tip is to utilize on-screen text. Not only does this allow you to provide more information about your product, but it gives you a better chance to appear to a wider audience. Some viewers will watch your video with the sound off, but for viewers who want sound, background music can be like the cherry on top, making your video feel more polished and professional. Just make sure you're using royalty-free music and a good website for that is bensound.com. You wanna also make sure you avoid using time-sensitive and discount-oriented language in your video. Amazon will reject your video if it contains information such as pricing, promotions, or holiday discount offers. Try to avoid phrases such as limited time only, on sale now, or anything similar that could be interpreted as a promotion. My last tip here is to inject some personality into your video. Don't be afraid of getting creative. 
We all seen videos that are boring and painful to watch. So try putting yourself in the viewer's shoes. Is your video something you would watch? Showcasing your brand's personality is a great way to differentiate your product from the hundreds of similar products out there. Now, once you have your video filmed, the last step is to get it uploaded to your product listing. To do that, open up your Seller Central account and navigate over to the Inventory tab, then click Upload and Manage Videos. Click Upload Video and find and select your video file. Make sure you upload your file at the highest quality possible, preferably at 1080p. Your file size must also not exceed 5 gigabytes and be in one of the following video formats, with .mp4 being one of the most popular video formats. The final step is to insert the details of your video. You want to select a thumbnail that accurately represents the video and create a title that includes some of your product's main keywords. Lastly, select the ASIN or ASINs relating to your video and click the Submit button to send to Amazon for final approval. Once Amazon has approved your video, you'll notice it may be marked as published. However, it may take up to 24 hours to appear on your product detail page. So there you have it. Hopefully you were able to take away some valuable insights from this video on how to create a successful product video for your listing. If you did, go ahead and let us know by hitting that like button down below. And remember, when planning your product video, think about how someone would interact with your product in a physical store and try to recreate that experience within the video. But now I wanna hear from you. Which type of product video are you most interested in making for your particular product? Let me know in the comment section down below. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Take care. So if you like the idea of creating videos for your Amazon listings, but you're not yet brand registered, go ahead and check out this video on how to become brand registered. Another great area where you can place your videos is on your Amazon storefront. If you like to learn how to create your own custom design storefront, go ahead and check out this video over here. <laughs> Who is this man? This is my story. <laughs>